Hello guys and guys and welcome back to another tutorial video. Quick off before this tutorial starts, which is actually a special tutorial, I'll get into that in just a second. I want to do something right quick with my pen. That's backwards. 5,000 subscribers on TGOT Tutorials. I've, it's happened before, but it is just as sweet seeing it happen here on the tutorial channel, guys. Thank you so much. Even it seems small when you achieve bigger things, but you have to really step back and think about what does 5,000 mean? 5,000 people have been helped out by these videos and felt to the extent that they've been helped out so much that they felt like giving back and pressing a subscribe button, even if it was just something as simple as a gesture of thanks. So it just, you gotta, Realize it for what it is rather than just the number on a screen. It's amazing. Thank you all so much for giving such positive feedback on the videos that I love to create and on the content that I uh, love to share with you guys and help out create your own um, your own path through YouTube and life. Uh, so thank you all so much for 5,000 subscribers. As promised, I will be opening up a new series where I review your guys' channels and kind of give you tips, pointers, and best practices from someone who's been, uh, been doing YouTube for six, five, it's crazy amount of years. Um, so I will give you my professional opinions on your channels. Uh, I won't hold back, so be careful. Uh, but no, it's, it's all constructive and trying to give you guys a better outlook on how to kind of shape your uh, your YouTube approach. So that's that. Uh, look forward to that. I will be selecting people at random. There will not be an application. Just make sure you're active with the community and uh, I will, I will um, pick people who I think um, would benefit most from it. So that's that. Thank you guys all so much for supporting and all. Uh, let's get into this week's tutorial. I've been gone for a while, but we're getting back to it. Uh, this week, I'm publishing the tutorials that you guys submitted a few weeks ago. Um, I did select uh, the tutorial uh, from a good friend of mine, actually. It had no overbearing on the selection process, um, but I did feel like his tutorial uh, was... was um, was very informative and I wanted to share it with you guys. It's about audacity and how you can use it to increase the audio um, production value on your videos. There were a ton of other submissions and I do, I do, do want you guys to check those out. So they will be at the top of the description right below this video and you can go check them out and uh, hopefully learn a thing or two from all the other wonderful um, submitting people. So that's that. Thank you guys all so much for submitting. I watched all of them and uh, each had their own um, had their own unique flair and I loved it. I loved it to death. So without any further ado, I present to you a good friend of mine, Adam or Epos Fox, and he will show you how to edit your audio in Audacity. Go and check him out when you're done, if you so please. And with that, I'll leave you guys with the tutorial. See you guys in the next one. Hello everyone, my name's Adam Taylor, or you may know me as Epos Vox. I make tech reviews and tutorials over on my channel at youtube.com slash eposvox as I fail at talking here. And in this video, since we're supposed to show you things that save us time, I'm going to show you how I save time using audio processing in Adobe, or not Adobe Audition, in Audacity. If you want to see this done in Adobe Audition as well, head over to my channel, I will be doing a separate version of this tutorial as well as a version of this tutorial for Adobe Audition over on my channel. So in a previous tutorial that I've made, I've walked you through essentially what I consider to be the best processing settings or not necessarily the best, but optimal processing settings to make your audio sound better in Audacity for YouTube commentaries, tutorials, general podcasting YouTube stuff and that involves an equalizer and a compressor and then maybe and then lots of normalization before and after and in between and all that jazz. Well that's a lot of steps. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set up chains to essentially apply it all at once. So I've recorded a sample clip here and you know instead of just going to effect and blah 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 you only have to do this the first time but if you instead go to file and edit chains you can actually make an entire chain of effects, so to speak, 
it's to speed up your processing for future edits. So if you go down here to click add, and you can call this YouTube processing or whatever you like, click OK. All right, we're going to insert an effect. We're going to insert normalize first because you always want to normalize your audio to keep it from clipping and things like that. Normalize. OK, then we're going to add equalizer. And then you can, if you need to edit the settings, you can go to edit parameters and it'll pop up the menu just like if you're doing it in the normal effects menu. And here I've set up a custom YouTube EQ curve. You can copy these settings if you like or check out my full tutorial for the explanation. Click OK. And then we'll add in another normalization. You just gotta scroll through these here or you can make it bigger. And they actually learned, unlike Adobe, that when you scale a window preview, it should actually scale the whole thing. But hey, that's another topic for another day. So normalize, and then we're going to add a compressor. Compressor, edit parameters. This is the curve I am using with a minus 20 dB threshold. OK. Actually, you want to go to uncheck the makeup gain. Click OK. OK, and then insert one last normalization. And again, if you do a bunch of, you know, if you do different processing, then you put in whatever you do. And then your chain is already there, so just click close. Actually, you click, click OK, and then click Save Changes. And now, instead of going through Effect and doing all this, just go to File, Apply Chain, choose YouTube Processing, Apply to Current Project. You just watched it change. Boom. Now it sounds different. And you can, like I said, you can do this, you can set up pretty much as many of these as you want. So you can set up ones for special effects, one for just processing to make it sound nice, one to speed it up, you know, do whatever you want. But this saves you quite a bit of time. Hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, smash the like button, get subscribed to T God Tutorials, and come over to my channel for more awesome tutorials and, like I said, the Adobe Audition version of this. Otherwise, guys, thank you for watching. My name's Adam Repos Fox yet again. And hopefully I'll see you in another video.